The Book of Jude, Part 2, The Remake. Lord, my daily Bible study friends, this is the second uh, installment of this video because the first time I had made the mistake of continually referring to Jude as John, making the statement that John was a half-brother to Jesus. Uh, that's not true. Jude and James were both half-brothers to Jesus, but not John. So um, this is a remake of that video. The book of Jude is, as I've said before and many times in the past, is a concentrated book of biblical truth. It's amazing when the things you can come out of it. Even the first word, as you've seen in part one, that Jude, he opens his book by saying, I am Jude. He didn't say, I'm Judah. He didn't say that I'm Judas, but he started as Jude. And it's remarkable to me that we all start in the same way. And it's a matter of how we obey God. It's a matter of how we walk in him that we close the end of our life, the end of our book. And we are called Judas or Judah. Amen. I'm not going to be content with just Jude. I want to be a Judah. Amen. But let's go forward a little more. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Amen. So Jude here is calling himself a servant of Jesus Christ. Now, in the same family structure, if I was to write this word, if I was to write this, I would have to write it this way. Tony, the servant to Danny and brother of David to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. You see, what I'd, I'd have to do is I'd have to submit myself to my older brother, and I would have to say to myself, I am his servant. Now, I want you to think about what that had to happen in their minds to make that statement. I love my older brother. I really do. He's a wonderful man. And, and Danny, if you ever watch this, I want you to know how much I deeply love you. And I appreciate you. And I pray that God will get a hold of you and that you will see the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, but I'm sorry, I'm not going to be calling myself your servant anytime soon. I hope you understand. Amen. But Jude did. It's interesting to me, too that not all of us can be a half-brother to Jesus. You know, that's physically impossible. But guess what we can be? We can all be a servant of Jesus Christ. I love that because it opens up the door of servanthood to all people, not just those who are in the close, tight-knit family of Jesus. Even the apostles call themselves servants of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, if you really want to have happiness, peace, and joy, in your life, the best way of going about that is to serve Jesus Christ because he ultimately is the creator of all of us. Amen. He is God who is manifested in the flesh. He had a peace and a part in creation of all things, according to scripture, including your own life. So if you find yourself unhappy like a, a square peg in a round hole, then get a hold of this creator and he will make you fit into all things. Amen. It's wonderful that we can all become servants, but we can't all become half-brothers to Jesus. So keep in mind along these lines that the Bible says, but as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become the sons of God. Through the Holy Ghost, we have power to become so, so, so much more than we are in the flesh. God is able to make us to become the sons of God. I submit to you that we can only become our greatest potential when we submit ourselves as a servant to Jesus Christ. See, one of the things that strikes me also is that when Jude was making this statement, Jude and James both were brothers of Jesus. And if I was to endorse anybody for anything, and I knew them as as intimately as I would a brother, I think I would have used some of that information to bolster my argument. But you won't find James or John or just about anybody ever using anything from his past family history to support his calling, which I find very interesting. 
they never at one point did they ever say, well, I saw him as a child, you know, doing this or as this, that. That never happened. So again, we don't have to have been a half-brother to him to know that he is the Messiah, that he is the God of Israel, incarnate in flesh. Praise God. So he never used that as a part, as a tool for his argument in the endorsement of the Messiah of God. I find that very, very interesting. Anyway, this is the remake, and I hope that I got it right this time. If you have any questions or comments, be sure and keep me on my toes. Amen. And let me know if I can answer any other questions for you. May God keep and watch over you in Jesus' name. 